All right, so this is our boiler back after some of our work. Um, these guys here were clogged uh, pretty badly. Um, we got a sight glass on uh, drain valve on there now. Um, if we were to open this up, the dirty water would return, but um, we've got it pretty well, pretty well cleaned for now. That's great. Uh, we got our pigtail is now uh, brass. We've got this set at its lowest possible setting. It's still going to be three times higher than the system needs, but we've got to start somewhere. Uh, we tested the low water cutoff by draining this and allowing the uh, unit to uh, go through a normal uh, shutdown and refill. This guy worked. No uh, evidence of uh, failure at this point, so we're going to leave it alone uh, maybe for another day. We took that plug out of there and uh, we put our lovely full port drain valve on there and when we flushed it uh, earlier with some uh, cold water we got uh, definitely some Mississippi mud out of there but uh, nature of the beast. Um, so we've got a little drain here just because uh, this really isn't going to uh, be required to drain a whole lot. And, but it wants something that we can clean out easily. Um, looks like we've had a leak there and there's some rust there, but uh, it's not active today, so we're gonna uh, back away and leave it alone. Um, and we've got our Gorton number uh, two. I said no, all one in the uh, earlier video, but I, I meant a, a two, we've got a bushing on there. This, um, these returns are starting to heat up which means that this thing has been running for a while. The steam is going through the radiators and showing up in the returns. Um, but that's kind of sort of how this thing might work because there are no traps. Uh, there's nothing preventing uh, the steam from getting into here until the uh, system shuts down um, or the, the valve is, is, is uh, shut shut down. Well, we're going to get into that uh, with another video. We're going to close this one out. Thank you very much. Uh, remember to like and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. Hopefully that'll be uh, in a few minutes.